So I'm here at the Freescale Technology Forum uh, here in Orlando and I'm uh, looking for some interesting technologies. Uh, ooh, what is that? Whoa! This is a... <laughs> Who are you? Uh, my name is Ned, Ned Seminite, and I, you're viewing me here on Vigo, which is a, a new concept that we call Active Presence, which enables people to not only see and hear remotely, but also to move around. So we're addressing applications like patient monitoring in, in, in healthcare, um, training for laboratories where it's important where remote instructors can go from person to person. We're also looking at applications in retail to augment sales staff and also to help supervise store remodeling and, and cap construction. We're also looking into uh, applications in general business as well for managing remote teams and coaching uh, sales organizations. Cool. It's a brand new product that's going to be available in September. In September, so right here, uh, it's autonomous. Well, you, you need to remote control it with a software and a computer? That's correct. So we have a little application that runs on your computer that enables you to see and hear and also to move around. So I take my mouse and I just basically point to where I want to go. So here, I'll, right now, I'm, I'm saying I want to look around the room. So I'm turning here in place so you, without you're having to affect you're remote yeah, controlling it. it from the other side of the of the conference. That's that's correct. But our application is that you remote control it from anywhere in the world. You could be in, in, in an airport and inspecting your product coming out on the manufacturing line in China. That's an example. Nice. So we, C could you also drive back to yourself so we can do some more interviewing uh, in person? Sure. Great. So let me follow you. There is a USB plug. That's a cool the robot. The robot right there. So it goes at that speed. Has some wheels. There you are. So you're actually using a software that you've made for it? Yes, yes. So right now, if you look here on the screen, we're yeah. seeing what the Vigo is seeing. So this is the image coming back. It's a live two-way image, both audio and video. I can uh, move forward slowly by clicking on the, lo the lower part of the screen. You might see my mouse pointer there turns orange, and now I'm moving slowly. If I move up towards the outer edge of the circle, I move faster. Nice. There it goes, just with the mouse. Just with the mouse. I just basically point to where I want to go. If I want to change the angle of the camera, I just use the scroll wheel. I can scroll up and down to get the view I want. So you're remote controlling it just with the mouse? Just with the mouse, that's it. So we're trying to make it very easy so that anyone can do this without any special training. So there it is. You're going around the whole conference area and just going up to people and talking with them. That's correct. So uh, say hello to... Do you want to say hello to these guys over there, on your right? Hey, how are you guys? I have the, the volume turned down here on my laptop yeah. because we get feedback here. You're using Where headphones. are you from? He's from Michigan? Michigan. Uh, ah, and what, is your, and what is your business? What is your business? Software controllers. Cool. Great. This is Vigo. Nice Vigo. to meet you. Nice to see you. So in September you're releasing it, and uh, what's your plan with it? Everywhere it should be? It will be available first in, in the United States. Uh, we'll be rolling out uh, internationally uh, probably 18 months from now. Uh, but we'll be moving into applications uh, in healthcare, education, retail, and also general uh, business, uh, small and medium business. So uh, it's running Freescale processor inside? Yes, that's correct. Which, which so processor we have, are So we have a pair. So we have a, uh, the IMX31 and also the IMX27 uh, with a Linux operating system. Uh, and those control uh, the, the audio and video compression and decompression and the communications. And then also the controls down to the, to the motors so that we can, we can move around. So how long does the battery last for the motors? 
Uh, we use a lead acid battery because we want weight down low so it doesn't tip over. So very low center of gravity. And the battery, we, we offer a range of battery sizes, but in general they'll, they'll last from 6 to 10 hours. 6 to 10 hours. Is there any hope that some of the actual movements around could be automated somehow? How, what would need to be happen for that? So, uh, for, Do you have enough sensors for all that to happen? So we, we have sensors so that we don't get in trouble, so we don't run into things or we don't fall downstairs. But to have the technology required to, for it to move on its own without driving it, uh, we have to do a little more work there, and that will be adding more processing power as, mo as well as more sensors. The sensors that, you re that were required to do that uh, previously have been very, very expensive, and you've only seen products doing that th that are in the price range of fifty dollars to $100,000. We're coming out at a price point of $5,000. Okay. So we will add that capability, but we're waiting for those sensor prices to drop a little bit, and then we'll, then we'll put them in there, and, and at that point in time, we would expect for someone to be able to say, okay, now go down to the manufacturing floor and the unit would actually drive itself there. And then when you're there, then you take over control and go look at what you want to look at. So at some point, do you think everybody will have one at home, a personal uh, assistant? We, we do, we do. So this is designed for the workplace right now. But we do see uh, not only ourselves, but also component manufacturers driving down the cost of the various piece parts. And we would expect that within five years, you'll see products in the... $500 to $1,000 range that a consumer could buy and put in their home so that they can um, check on their parents. So elderly parents is a big application we've seen a lot of great input on that. Uh, even something as frivolous as monitoring your pets. There's so many people that want to see what their pets are doing. Yeah. And if you have a stationary webcam at home, that doesn't do it because that might be in the living room, but your pet's in the kitchen. So now you can drive around and find them. How about babysitting from your mobile phone? It, you can uh, monitor what the nanny is doing with the kids, absolutely. Okay. You wouldn't recommend uh, leaving the kids alone with it? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. Why not? It depends how big they are. Yeah, yeah I guess it depends on... Uh, uh, you know what your parenting philosophy is, right? Okay. Good. All right. Thanks.